Well, I've already set my camera to be prepared for VR, so I am sitting here now. For now. In the corner of the screen. Where I belong. Looks like we're going to be playing INTO THE RADIUS VR! And I think it has like some sort of extraction shooter vibes, but I do know one thing. From what you saw in the teaser, yeah, uh, that's gonna happen to me which is great, love that. All right, so we got overwhelmingly positive, overwhelmingly positive, goddamn, 95%, 150 user reviews in the last 30 days are positive, and overall 94% of the 7,000 user reviews is very positive. That's, that's, that's pretty good, man, that's pretty good. I, I like dem odds, hence why I bought that game. Into the Radius is a single player survival shooter in VR. Explore the picturesque. Zone filled with surreal landscapes and dangerous anomalies. Defend yourself with realistic firearms, recover a strange artifact, scavenge for loot, and uncover the mysteries of this unforgiving dystopian environment. Yeah, it's, it's Stalker, man. I, the one thing that I hated the most about the Stalker series was the fucking anomalies, mainly because like you could just casually just go, oh, I'll just walk between these two trees, and you didn't throw a fucking, uh, a screw or whatever the hell they, that, that you do with that. Like a bolt, I think it is. Uh, you don't throw a bolt and then boom, you're dead. Fucking fuck you. Screw you. You don't deserve to live. So we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the reviews. At its core, Into the Radius is an immersive and ambitious survival shooter on the fringe of humanity that pushes you to your limits. Okay. The kind of experience that can be had in this game is one in a million. I hope that's a good thing. The game's complex. Physics-based gameplay and realistic gun handling are big attractions. Now, I do like realistic gun handling when it comes to VR games. That is a big thing for me because I am a gun nerd. Dozens of hours of slow-paced suspensal, suspense, sus, suspensal survival. An unforgiving dystopian environment of the Chorsk. Anomaly zone. Diverse natural, industrial, and urban locations with vast exploration potential. Navigate with your realistic map plan and route. And climb over obstacles, scout out shelters, and cover loot caches and try not to get killed. Realistic handling of various classic and modern weapons. Day-night cycle. Scavenge for loot and scout during the day. Sneak around and evade your enemies under the cover of night. Dangerous anomalies, bleak atmosphere, and urban exploration. Can we turn those off, please? Uh, regular updates at uh, I burped a lot. An incredible community. That hang on, that's that's a main feature of the game is regular updates and incredible community. Uh, I mean, look, I, I'm sure that they are, but I, I wouldn't put it in the Steam thing. But I mean, it, it's nice that you know, it's nice that the developer just went. You know what? I'm I'm gonna thank the community. They were helpful on this one. All right, explore the radius. Hey, look, we got like gifts here and stuff. That's cool. Uh, there's the, oh, you can smoke cigarettes. That's good, everyone. Cheer for lung cancer. Hey! All right, explore miles and miles of forest swamps and crumbling industrial ruins. Wow, bleak as fuck. That sounds so much fun. I'm glad that I'm going to be diving into this with a VR headset so I can just enjoy the forest swamps and crumbling industrial ruins with anomalies and monsters around every corner waiting to kill me. Uh, but be careful, the radius is filled with deadly anomalies dealing damage to anyone foolish enough, daring enough to get close. Oh god! Uh, mimics? Oh my god, no, no, not mimics. I, I really hope that they're not the same fucking mimics that are in Prey. I did not enjoy that whole thing. 
<laughs> Why did I buy this if it's got all of these things? I don't know, it's got good reviews and, and apparently it can run on my hardware. So, <sighs> also I like the idea that it's like, uh, that you've got like the VR extraction shooter-ish type thing where you go in, you, you loot some stuff, you go back to your base and shit. I, I, I love that fucking gameplay loop. I, I'm glad that it's single player too. It makes me very happy. Um, although, although, I hope we do get to fight some like NPCs, um, some AI like enemies that are human in nature. Uh, I would like that, that'd be really good. Uh, if it's just monsters, I think I'm gonna cry because I'll be very scared. Collect and fire realistic guns. I am looking forward to doing that. Oh, hang on a second. Take care of your weapons. If they take damage or their condition deteriorates, they'll begin to jam. Be sure to switch the safety off before you start firing. What? I don't think I've ever seen safety in a VR game before, but that's pretty cool. Oh, look, you can knock out the mag with the uh, mag. Oh, 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 that's a, that's a neat feature. All right. Realistic bullet physics cause ricochets and bullets can penetrate different materials. That is good to know. So I need to be careful. Your only means of survival is to sneak around with your detector, hunt for artifacts and complete the missions assigned via the vi vintage UNPSC desktop at the base. The unpsk. Your trusty friends in the radius zone are stealth, silence, and planning. Oh, I am not stealthy nor silent, and I have minimal skills with planning. Understand how to navigate the terrain, move slowly, take cover, crouch, sneak, and beware of the threats around you. All right, let's play the fucking game. Let's play a new game, please. Okay, that, that was less climactic because there's more options here. I thought that I could just press that and it'd be like, boom, we're in there, but no. Now I have to add the climax. Ah. Ah. Why did I do that? <laughs> you become more visible in the dark when you use a flashlight. Wow, really? I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, hey, I got hands. I've got hands. Look at my hands. I've got a body. Awesome. Da da. I don't like that. Um, that's that's really creepy. Who are you? Why? Are you... Hello. Ah. That was a very manly scream. Ah. Well, I I don't like any of this. It's terrifying. I I don't know if I'm gonna survive in this world. This this is a little bit a little bit odd. I don't know if anyone can see me actually. I just realized um, I, I, I normally have this light on when I do VR. There we go. <laughs> if that helps, there you go. I hope I survive in this world. All right, what's this? Pick up objects, reach out and press grip. Uh. <gasps> wow, okay, there was a bit of a delay there, but I'll take it. Uh, I feel them, I talk to them, but are they people? It looks like, why can't they hear me? Oh, because you suck. Oh, so you just press. Oh, it's oh good. At least it's a toggle. All right. Now, oh, I mean, we'd be amiss if we didn't check out the porta potty or the the outdoors toilet. Let me inside. I need to take a shit. Let me inside. How do I? I don't have any weapons or anything. I want inside the toilet! I want inside the toilet! Come on! Come on! Alright, well I guess I'm going this way then. Did... Sorry, what? What just happened? Hey, squeeze me? This is all horrifying. No. Ow. Oh god, I don't- the music is scary or whatever is going on. What? Wait, Hear what, me? what, what, what? <gasps> hey, person! Did you try to touch me. What? You try to touch you? What? I mean, look, everybody, she did say, try to touch her, so I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do that. On top of the head. Oh, ah, shit! You can hear me. I kept trying um, to speak to others, but they couldn't and- No! Oh, help Get me. away from me, body Please. person, I don't want it! Huh. Hey, oh. Oh, oh shit, I'm gonna have to actually- Oh! Oh, look at that upper body strength! God damn! God damn, look at this! 
Oh, yeah, that's actually making me feel queasy. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Oh. oh, this is very intuitive. That is, that is nice. Is actually nice. I don't think that that's nice though. That that's quite disturbing. I I can't. I can fist, but I can't finger. I can't point my fingers. So it's gonna be. I'm gonna be like. I'm just gonna have to fist bump people. I'm like it's the way. I feel like my arms are a little bit longer than that. Let me have a look. Yeah, my arms are longer than that, dude. Let me fix that up. I think it was already on 62. Yeah, that's that's almost perfect. All right, cool. Everything feels a little bit different in VR, so you're just gonna have to excuse me if I'm a bit stumbly bumbly. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go down there. I don't think it's safe. Um, is there a way for me to climb down safely? Oh shit! Oh god, backwards, backwards. All right, that's gonna get me killed if I do that. So I just jump down. Okay. Ow. So that was meant to be an injury. I can't reach that. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I, this is not half life Alex. I can't just... How do I... Trigger. Grip. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it slowly goes up. So that's my health. Good to know. All right, well, I've injected myself with random uh, drugs. And so, oh, God, what happened to my body? Uh, there, there is darkness over. I'm not a fan of that darkness. Um, I, I'm really not. Can I, can I leave? I would like to leave now. I, I'm already scared. Oh, that is creepy as shit. Can you guys not? How many of them are, are in here, though? Like, I know that you're there, but how many are in here? I hate this. Uh, pick up the knife from the distance. Oh, God. All right. I've got knives. You guys better watch out. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, stuff is happening. I'm confused by it, but still. There was a thing in front of me and I didn't even see it. That's lovely. Love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I... This. Huh. Oh, hi. Stab. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Bye-bye, child. Bye bye person. Bye bye everyone. I don't want to be your friend. Okay. <gasps> oh, fancy light. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Can I can I stick it on my body? Oh, again. Oh, that's handy. Oh, well there we go. Oh no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Fuck me. I hate that. Oh, God. I hate that so much. Could you not be a creepy, gross thing that I hate? Oh my God. That is terrifying. No. I don't want to be in an area with those things. you a thing oh god Can we... oh my god oh no okay I hate I absolutely hate that with a passion get away from me oh okay so we got a headlamp we got a backpack flashlight detector pockets map Probe pistols pouch. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, it's teaching me stuff. I like I like being taught stuff. I guess kind of not always. I will take the gun. Uh, 
Can I switch to the safety? Oh, it needs... Okay, I thought it already had one in there. But you can take that out. Alright, so, if I half eject it, that's half ejecting it. And then... No, that's half ejecting it. Okay, so you can hold in order to do that. Good to know. Uh, how do I put that on my body? There we go. Oh, that's, that's okay, you know, I'm, I'm okay with this. There we go. Shoot targets until the mag is empty. Alright, so you empty that out. Put that in my holster. And now... I thought I'd have to do this one at a time. Apparently not. I'm okay with that. Oh! Holy shit. Alright. I'm cool with that. So... Can I... Okay. You need to go away. Please. I... Yep. I understand. Now, let me practice. Nice! Alright. So I'm gonna unload that. I'm going to pick up one of these. And place it in. Oh my god, yes, that is, that is satisfying. I like that. I like that a lot. I like like that a lot, lot. Alright, we have chambered. I'm gonna fucking hell. I really want A to be safety rather than X, but alright. Can I put this back in? Oh yes, I can. Oh, and it tells me how many there are in there too. Oh, nice. I really hope I get to keep this. Alright, where are we going now? Probably not going to need to have this out all the time. Alright. Oh my god! That's what that, so that sound is. It's anomalies! It's fucking Stalker! I knew it going into it. I knew it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, there's one. There's one, there's one. So, straight line to here. Okay, cool. Where, where am I allowed to put this? There. Alright. How you doing, Missy? We need to make sure you stay that way. This is no place for the living. Go into the fog. See what's out there. Your memories will guide you. Now that we've made this connection, I can find you anywhere. If you say so. Oh god, look at that. Alright, uh, I, I don't- oh god. Okay, well. Oh no! All my stuff! Oh, okay. I, no, I got a gun. I'm good. I don't have any ammo though. I'm not very happy about that, but all right. I think I'm wearing different clothes now as well. Stop. Oh. Authorized personnel only. Raise Hello. your hands above your head for identification. Greetings, Explorer. This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pejorsk Radiant Anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero due to long-term absence. Please proceed to your room and continue the missions. Okay. We are hoping for complete cooperation. Sure, why not? So now we're in the game, I guess. Oh. And this is my lovely little home. Okay, cool. Welcome back. There are two types of missions, regular and top priority. To unlock the top priority missions, complete the regular. At the moment, there is only the top priority mission available. Select it. I don't want to select it. Okay. Hygiene stuff. Boring. Bland. Hygiene stuff. Can you just stay close, please? I don't know what this is, but it is silicone grease. Great. I want to clean up. I feel like I'm a bit gross in the, um, in the outside hostile environment. So, what type of gun is this? Alright, that looks like it's dirty. Oh, hang on. Tip 
zero journal. All cassettes, notes with clues, and secret stashes are stored in the journal. You can read them again whenever you want. Clue notes have useful tips that are scattered around the base. Find them all. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go do the feckin' mission then. Play missions. First expedition gives me 1,870. I guess I'll do that. Uh, we appreciate your participation in the free will missions program for the residents of the PSZ. Your first mission is to retrieve your missing predecessor's wristwatch containing valuable metrics. The task may require using a gun. If there's no ammo in that and I have to rely solely on... Like what? Seven, seven, eight shots? It's not very good. Alright, start mission. Your portable copy of the map. Oh my god! This was in my ass? What the hell? Oh my god. Alright, yes. Okay. Take that and we'll put that here. I'm gonna take that and we'll put that here. I'm gonna take that. And uh, I'm gonna put this back. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm going to leave that there, and uh, I hope that it stays there this for the whole time and stuff. Alright, so I've got a uh, drop pouch there, which is good, we want that to be there, we've got a little fruity item thingy, I've got a knife that... I mean, I already have a knife, but just in case I lose it, I'll keep that there. They have a little uh, epi pen or something. All right, I'm okay with that now. How do I tell when I'm hungry? Can I put, can I put double? No, I can't double up. Looks like there's enough space in there for two, but oh, well, I guess not. All right, well, I'll go fuck myself then. Um, yep, cool. If you go and do things, I need to, uh, exit out into the radius and be scared. This is gonna be so much fun! But there is a shooting range. I wouldn't mind visiting the shooting range. I'm just gonna... No, no, don't you even open. I wanna go to the shooting range. The training area. Maybe there's got some cool stuff here. Free mode? Oh, we could, we could do free mode. That'd be cool. Alright, look. I I'm gonna come back to that. We'll do the first mission, then we'll come back and we'll explore the, um, the free mode. So, I guess that's just practice with weapons and see how you do. Alright. Into the radius! Make sure your gun is ready to fire. There it is. Probably not a good idea to have that, uh, oh, I see stuff. There's a thing over there, I don't like it. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to this tower because it looks like uh, it could be a good thing to, you know, loot, maybe. I'm gonna look around. Alright, I am now in the radius, okay? Or the breach or whatever the fuck this is. Oh. Down. Ba -da -da boop. Ba -da boop. Um. <gasps> Anyway. Oh, fuck yeah. Attention. <gasps> this is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the pictorisk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit that will get you to the nearest research outpost. Enter the fog to find it. Okay. I, I kind of like this backpack system. I'm not going to lie. This is really neat. <sighs> oh, there's some stuff over there. I want to do that. Can I? There we go. No. Oh shit, that's scary. Can I? Okay, well, we want to go down. 
very slowly. I don't, don't want to hurt myself. Fucking hell. Right. We'll get more of this as time goes on. Don't understand why that is floating where I don't want it. careful of anomalies as well because I don't think I've got anything to throw at them uh, okay oh, fuck you come on up and at them uh, don't think they saw it I think we're good Looting as much as I can, there's nothing there. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh, I think that's a flare. I don't know if I need that. Is it a flare? I feel like that's a flare. You know, I'm, I'm gonna put it in my backpack anyway because uh, that's how we do, baby. Now I'm very scared. Great. Never mind. I'm all good. I didn't die. It's fine. Alright. Note to self. Don't do that again. Very scared. I don't know where I'm going. I am here. I need to get to M1, I think, which is in that direction. Quite a while in that direction. Okay. Good. He's just Ash. He's just Ash. He caught them all. I'm gonna take a cigarette. Apparently these are useful in the game. Um, yeah. shot okay what's this uh camera yeah, that's pretty neat i'll take a camera i don't know what that's going to be used for but sure why not um i'll take the box shot there we go um actually is there a weight limit on that weight is six okay uh it's in the green so i guess that's okay can i put things on the side oh my god i think i could put like guns and shit on the side as well that's cool uh what's that lighter oh i'm gonna need that for my cigarettes what no 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 well, it's cool that you can hang it in the air but you could probably lose it that way as well i don't want to uh lose it i'm not looking forward to fighting these things i could probably avoid it but we all know i'm not gonna there is one review in uh on steam that says that like a negative review that I left a massive list. Um, the developers did respond to it and said that they, they fixed a bunch of stuff with the AI and stuff, but he was saying that it's a really good game for the first 12 hours, apparently. And, um, but then it becomes a little unfair because the enemies start to, uh, like you shoot your gun and then everything can fucking hear you and it just like, they just swarm you, I guess. I, I don't really know. Uh, entirely, but... Okay. What's 
the spiral to come again. Ooh. Just got the new coil installed. Should work all right. Gotta lock that thing up before some sneaky side breaks in and steals it again. Uh, where did the key go? I don't know. Can you tell me, though? I would like to know. I just realized there's just a truck in the air. I'm just so used to video game nonsense that I'm just like, there's a truck in the air. Like, uh, don't crush me, fellow. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. I'll take a knife. That's my knife now. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. We even got we even got Red Bull in the apocalypse. There we are. Oh, nice. Nice. <gasps> Sick ribs. Alright, can I? Oh, so this is why you can do it. Gotcha. Nope. Don't do that. Close this. Yes. Fucking hate the sound that made. Made me very uncomfortable. But good to know that you can find things in vehicles. Look, we're learning. I need to know where to go now. Alright, I need to go that way. M1, we're walking towards- Oh my god, look at that giant fucking Sauron eye in the sky! Oh, and I see something over there. Awesome. Right, there is something that I saw in the ad of this. When I first discovered that, can I? Or do I stab it? I just stab it, stab it. There we go. Okay, so you stab it. Awesome. Saved your hammer, you know what I mean? So, if I can do that, I will do that. Oh, hi there! That's disturbing. Sir? Could you not be a creep? Sir, please. Skadoodle. Nice. Back to full ammo. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what does this say? Uh, skibbity, 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 skibbity. Lost Logs. The Burned Band 1.1. I don't remember my name or why I'm here. I just know that I felt the sting of death and its parting gift was fear. Uh, block post was my grave. I gone in unprepared I've gone in unprepared and found myself surrounded. Soldiers emptying clip after clip at the concrete barrier I had ducked around, ducked behind. The shooting lasted for what felt like hours. Cool. Can I like, add this to a journal or something? Or Am I meant to take these with me? Is this, is this evidence? Oh my god. Maybe these Alright, whatever. Okay, nothing there. What's this? Uh, um, uh, I can't tell. It's too dark. What is this? I think this is a flare as well. Firing direction. Alright, that's a thing. I'll take the thing. Um, like that, maybe? Alright, I think I am starting to understand this game! This is pretty cool! And technically, yeah, I guess it is an extraction shooter. Because you, oh, is this, oh, it's food. Yep, I'll take some food. I'll take some food. Hell yeah. All right. Do I have uh, energy? Yeah, no, I'm good. At least I think the blue bar is my energy. Um, how are we doing on this? Day 40, we settled on a hill next to the railroad. Look, there was a substation or something before. Cleared the area from monsters. Glad we had those NATO guns after all. Day 43, a couple more people joined us. Their memory is messed up too, of course. All right, well, I don't know if I need this stuff, but I'll take it anyway. I 
think we're good for now. There is a way up there. Let me just double check. But again, I need to get out alive as well. Like, it's kind of important that I do. Um, so I go and play with fuse boxes. That's my objective. There's a person over there. Awesome. Nice. Oh! Hi there. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna ignore you for now. Um, what the feck is a uh, radio antenna, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. No. Get away. Does this open? Does it not? That's what I need. I don't trust it. I mean, I haven't been given a reason to trust it or to not, so either way. Uh, there we go. I have no idea what this is. I'll take it with me. Uh, some bullets, uh, some buckshot. Okay, that's everything. All right. I think I'm ready to leave now. I feel very uncomfortable. Can I help you, man? Can can I help you? Help me, please. Oh shit, you do want That help. wasn't really me. Just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where. Just that it's dark here, and I can't move. I'm I'm so sick of this place. Whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. Katya. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. Yeah, I'm not gonna stick around, so, uh... Yeah. I think I'm gonna head home now. Okay, bye! I I've got so much goddamn loot on me at the moment, I am not going to, uh... I'm not gonna risk it. I go back that way. Back home. That is what this person wants me to do is to go through there, where all those anomalies are, it's very scary, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not curious enough to, to go and explore that. Instead, I'm going to run in the direction of home, because this is terrifying, and I don't want to be here anymore. Your weapon's magazines can break too? Oh no, the lower the condition, the higher the chance of jamming. Don't forget to repair them. I don't know how to do that. Come on, man. Anyway, that's the first expedition into the radius, which is, uh, hands up, yep. Um, which is, don't fucking shoot me, oh my god. Wow, that's a minigun. Um, so that's the first expedition into the radius. Stay quiet, stay alive. Silencer, subsonic ammo, knife, and crouching will help you. Stay unnoticed by the enemy. I mean, I don't think I did too bad. I shot some guns and stuff, but it's like, uh, I mean, I felt like it was necessary. There wasn't a lot of people around. There wasn't a lot of enemies and stuff around, so I don't think it was like a big deal or anything. But hey, I, uh, I, I did some stuff. I, I, I feel like I accomplished my mission. Um, did I get money for my mission? Delivery bin in the shop to complete the mission. Delivery bin in the shop? There's a shop? 